know that this famous painting is not a depiction of reality, because the buildings are a mixture of well-known Italian structures and imaginary ones. There's a military triumphal arch at the center, flanked by the Roman Colosseum at the left, and the Baptistry of Florence at the right. These buildings celebrate the role of military security, entertainment, and of course religion in any well-ordered city. This unknown artist calculates his imaginary space very carefully. Look through the arch of the center into the far distance. The tiny black arch there is the mathematical focal point of the painting. The receding lines in the foreground square and slanting roofs of the two buildings on the sides converge at that one spot. This mathematical perspective was first developed in Renaissance Florence. In the 15th century, architecture was in some ways the dominant art form. Architecture brought together new, secular fields of knowledge, like mathematics, with philosophical ideas about civic responsibility. The educated elite hoped that they could not only shape, but perhaps also perfect their quickly growing European cities. We do not know exactly who commissioned this amazing painting, but it was surely part of the decorative room paneling in a sophisticated urban home. See the man with the walking stick in the front? Where's he going? This beautiful, clean city square is not a real place, but an artist's idea of what an ideal or perfect city might look like. It was painted in Italy during the Renaissance. At that time, cities were becoming very important. Many people were interested in planning their growing cities, making them more orderly and beautiful. Look at the arch in the middle of the painting. Peek through it. Do you see the building way in the distance with the small black arch? Now look at the two largest buildings at the sides of the painting. Do you see how the edges of their roofs point to that little black arch? Now look at the stairs and the walkway. These lines also point to the arch. This is no accident. By making all the lines recede to the same place, the artist makes the space feel real, as if you could walk right into it. This technique, called mathematical perspective, was invented during the Renaissance. Now glance around this room. Do you see that many other Renaissance paintings also have a real sense of space? Artists and architects still use mathematical perspective today. <laughs>